We just finished our seven day protocol of just beef bison, eggs, and butter. How did we do? You guys, today is weigh in and we're gonna share what we weighed. Did we win? Did we go up? Did we go down? Did we remain the same? And we're gonna share what we're gonna do for the rest of May. So come on, you guys, let's get this day started. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. How is everybody doing? We just got notified on our new radar app that goes into our car place so we can keep ahead and park the way for all the severe storms that are happening. <laughs> Those are so big we can't get out of the way. Right in the path of where we're going. We're gonna check ahead of us and if we have to stay behind because of severe weather, then that's the way it's going to have to be on our trip. We're leaving a day early. We're leaving on the 23rd and the reason for that is, is we're gonna go as far as Tucson, spend the Tucson, spend the night there. We have an issue with one of the little awnings that go across our uh, pop out. We're going to talk to them about that and see if they can fix it then and there. If we have to make an appointment, we'll make it and time it so that coming home, hopefully, we can get an appointment there coming back. We are just playing it one campground RV resort at a time because it's very scary and we're pulling an, a, a 30 pound 30, I mean, pound, 30, uh, 30 pounds sorry 30 pounds. a 30 foot fifth wheel RV and with all the craziness now we were in a, an area yeah we were in an area um, when we first got it in carefree where a uh, bad storm went through and it did pretty good but it was facing head on into it so any of the rv resorts or campgrounds that we're going to we're going to see if they have at least a cover for her so at least the top is protected but i don't know until we get there if what they have available because i have stuff already reserved and so when i get there i can ask it's just playing it by ear. We plan on being in Roswell, New Mexico on the 25th. So uh, if any of you guys live in the local area and you guys want to have coffee with us, send me an email and let me know. Tell me what coffee shop we should meet you at and we'll figure out a time and stuff. But send me an email at lovingitonketo at gmail.com. We have one day to check out the town and do all of that. We've moved it so that we can do all of those things before um, Memorial Day Central. We're then going from there um, to Fredericksburg, Texas, which is very close to Austin, Texas. Um, so, and then to Austin, Texas, which is a little bit further away from Houston with all the problems. Houston, we have big problems there. And you guys, God bless everybody that's in the way of all these crazy storms and water and hail and wind and tornado damages. I hope you've all been safe and, and huddled in safely. Um, because it, it is crazy. Now today we are getting rain right now. It just warned us that within 15 minutes we would get a sprinkling of rain and yeah, it's sprinkling outside. So the radar is working pretty good. So um, we're gonna be watching it and hopefully I c if you guys have not done so already, stop what you're doing. Go to the subscribe button. If you are watching it on your TV and it's a smart TV, use your up arrow, go up, to where our description is, go over, hit our channel, go over and subscribe and update your notifications so you get notified. Because if we're in incumbent weather, if we're if we can't get to where we're going or anything, we're gonna kind of give you a heads up. Gonna try. Um, with even uploading, we may be safe in the trailer, but we can't get our Starlink up in an area because of the weather and we don't want it to blow off because we have a pole that goes up into the air when we do it. Uh, sometimes you can put it on the ground. We don't want it to get wet, obviously. Uh, it was an expensive unit. We pay a lot of money uh, per month to have it. Yeah, like what? So 150 bucks. bucks. Yeah. So, we have a lot of what if scenarios, uh, but we, we look for the worst and pray for the best 
and we fall somewhere in between as we're going along but we will update when I can when I can get reception because we also have our T-Mobile uh, portable unit that we take with us so we have two ways <sighs> It's crazy. I cannot believe the weather. Man, look how windy it's getting here, Harry. Our little know, tree's blowing yeah, like crazy. I had, to, I had to take all the blinds that are all up. Uh, I had to take them up so outside. And I don't want to go outside Really, at all. really bad. Because of my sinuses. Yesterday, I had to do a day of rest. I took Benadryl on time throughout the day, and I rested. The problem with sleeping and resting all day is by... 2 a.m. in the morning, I was wide awake. I am talking wide awake. Um, we were in bed, I turned on the TV and you can get uh, sound music vibes and all this stuff on a black screen. Um, I played that and at 5.50 in the morning, I thought, I'm gonna get up and take one more Benadryl. And we take melatonin and lots of other things at night and calm included and um, I was able to sleep for a little bit off and on. So I'm better, but I'm not well yet. And something I was thinking about for this next three days is when I was sick with allergies as a kid and with my nose and my eyes and my hearing, um, my mom was taking me to the eye, ear, nose and throat doctor all the time. And one thing he told mom was, it can help if you hold off the eggs, the dairy, the shellfish, um, because that can cause like a mucousy effect. And I thought about that. I was trying to rack my brain over all this stuff. And we, I, I scour YouTube for all kinds of things. And I thought, how about, I have this nice big package of New York steak, and I thought, why don't I go n no dairy, which we haven't been doing, but remove the eggs for me, just for a couple days, just to see if I can get over the hump, right? I haven't added dairy back, so I don't plan on doing that yet. Um, and uh, Harry, maybe eating something different once we get the steaks done, but I'm gonna go almost lion diet for the next three days, is what I thought, just to give my body a complete rest. Now, lion diet, with the exception of some of the vitamins and supplements I am now taking holistically for my osteoarthritis, which has been helping me. So I am not, when I say we're going to be strict carnivore, that means all animal products plus supplements that I feel I need for my body to see if it helps alleviate my inflammation. You do what you need to do. I don't need the carnivore police, the lion diet police, or anything in between police to come after me for what I'm doing for my body. Trust me, I have watched all the doctors, you know, Chappie, Berries, I've watched all of them that I can find, including non-ketogenic sphere, carnivore sphere, to see what everyone is saying based on white papers, scientific research, and information. And I know even those contradict each other. So I'm not gonna tell you what I am taking supplement-wise because I don't think that's fair. I don't want you to follow me in that respect because I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. We're not medical practitioners. I'm going to see if it works for me. Now, if it works for me like the MSM Pure does, I'll let you know, and I'll tell you which brand I use, but that's based on just my, me and my body, and what you do and, and what you, you works for you are different. Just note to self with that. Now, I have did flush my nose with the baby Johnson's shampoo. I did it the day prior and yesterday, and then last night I did a flush and I used the El Saki in powdered form in distilled water, I made a paste, put it up with a Q-tip, up way up in my nose, which you know causes your eyeballs to water, up in there because I'm trying to 
kill off any um, bad probiotics or bacteria that's up in my head, a colony of them. And the baby shampoo breaks down the exoskeleton cell and breaks down their wall that they build around themselves to protect themselves. I don't want to waste my l -Saki when I'm doing that because it'll kill this as well. I want this to colonize up into my nose and into my nasal cavity and into my um, sinus cavity as well. So we did that last night. And today, I still sound sinus, I sound congested, but I feel better, which is really good. I feel better. But I wanna be feeling great and I want this to be gone. Now with all the bad weather, across all these states, that's gonna have an issue, and I realize that. But I hopefully can recolonize with the good stuff. So I wanted to share that. You, this stuff is expensive, it's powdered form, you have to refrigerate it, or better yet, put it in the freezer. So um, I have it here so I can use that. I just wanted to share that, and again, we're not doctors, we're not, I'm not telling you what you need to do, but look it up, because there are scientific information on YouTube regarding that. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. So we have three days now to get everything done. I have appointments that I have made, you know, hair, nail, toes, feet, getting Sally groomed and washed before we go, all the things, and packing. So we're gonna be a shorter video, and I'll share from the following day what we have the night before and all those good things. But I wanted to share that information with everybody. Um, and let me know. Now with that, I wanted to premise that, premise that before I say everything you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, can have a direct effect on your weight. Water weight gain, over-the-counter medicines such as Benadryl, such as Tylenol, such as aspirin, you know, um, also inflammation. My head is, I can see my cheeks through my glasses. That's how swollen my face is. Plus I'm doing a few breakouts, little, little breakouts, which I don't get a lot, I don't get breakouts. Plus a mosquito bit me on the throat the other night and I got a red mark now from that. And I got bit by a fire ant on my foot and I'm allergic to ant bites. So I think Sally brought it in because she does um, sun basking in the sun and those ants are so teeny. But man, it made a mess on my ankle, didn't it, Harry? Oh yeah. And it's so much better now. Huge So lump. much better. She gets big lumps. They get a huge blister in the middle and I have to pop that and squeeze that because that's where the stuff, the poison that the ant bite has. I have to kind of drain that and then work through it. And then I put some castor oil on it, rubbed it in really good, and then I put my hydro cortisone cream right. on it. Yeah, so <laughs> not fun, not fun. But what did we weigh in after our seven days, you guys, of doing what we did, even though I haven't been feeling good, I've had my sinuses infected and swollen, and I've been taking Benadryl. I was so relieved when I weighed in today because the good news, I did not gain any weight at the end. No, I did not. Oh, I was thought that was a moth on the um, screen. There's a little black mm -hmm. dot. And we've got bugs, you guys. Well, they're all out, aren't they, Harry? But you guys, we started our seven days. Here, I weighed 194.2. Harry weighed 196. That was after our strict BBBE. I weighed in at 192.8. I lost one and four tenths pounds. Harry weighs in at 189. Thank heavens he's going back down at one pound and six tenths. So that is the good news. The bad news is we're still way up from our lowest ketogenic weight and that's where we hope to be. One of the things that we have committed to and that we have talked about is we are not, when we stop for gas, we are not eating any keto carb junk foods such as the Quest cookies, the Quest bars, any of those things. It will be meat like a Tillamook, like what I have left from the Tillamook little sausages, zero carbs, 
pure meat if we do that. But because we have our Vita, I can make some, um, and this is going to be three days from now, so I can start adding eggs back. I'm going to make like deviled eggs or chicken chicken or something that we can stop at a red roadside rest and in texas there were some of the roadside rests are you pull in and there's a picnic table and a trash can but you can pull in there or at walmart or in a big city any any big shopping mall that has parking way out um it's like when we go to in and out burger um, on the way down to Tombstone, Harry parks way in the back. He drops me off at In-N-Out Burger. I go in, and then I hike to the back. He walks Sally, and they kind of meet me halfway. But um, we're going to limit dairy while we're traveling, but we may have dairy. You know, I'm just doing this, this the meat one until we get on the road, the, the steaks and stuff, um, for three days to see if it helps. If it doesn't help at all, I gave it a good try. Um, but I think we need to remain carnivore for at least the end of May, and then we'll talk about June, because we're going to be traveling in June, too, for several weeks, you know, God willing, because of all the tr everything that's happening. So I'm packing meat, <laughs> packing meat, in the refrigerator. We're going to check all that. And of course, there's stores along the way. So I'm not worried about that. When we went to um, KetoCon last year with Paula and Al, she pointed out, is it Hub? H-U-B or H-E-B in Texas? Anyway, she said that's a really good store to go to. She kind of said you know these are good stores to shop at plus all these and all of those things so we'll be on the lookout for those so anyway I just wanted to share all of that with everybody because the day we travel you know we may not be able to upload and we may have to upload like two at a time or short shorten it or something like that so the best thing to do if you like our videos is not only have your subscription and make sure you're subscribed is to ring that bell and get all notifications so you can get a, a notification from the community tab. Yes, indeed. Anyway, you guys, with that, I've got steak out. I'm very excited. I'm hungry for steak. And this what is <laughs> beef loin, New York steak, you guys. Look at these beautiful steaks here. Beautiful steaks. And there are 5.22 pounds in four steaks. So they are at least a pound probably each, if not a little bit over. And I like to weigh my meat. I'm going to weigh the meat before and after just to get a good idea of kind of what they weigh and then afterwards what we have because I'm trying to stay about for me 16 to 1800 calories for Harry right around 18 to 19 even 2000 calories we have been upping our calories over since April a little bit at a time because we were under eating and we know it so I want to keep up with that the hard part is I can't eat a whole lot in one meal and I'm not hungry for a second meal, but we've been eating it and I've been tracking it on my carb manager, staying as low to the ground as possible on that. And another thing about us going carnivore is I may or may not use seasoning. I also especially pluck. I may or may not use some of my condiments like mustard, uh, avocado mayonnaise if I want it. If I want to have tuna, I may put a little bit of that. Yes, I know there's tons of carnivore recipes out there for mayonnaise. I know all those things. But I'm going to be traveling and I'm going to make it easy. I know um, it's not carnivore strict it's carnivore ish but we have to do what we can do to make this a livable thing while we're traveling and enjoy what we're eating and then it's like when we started carn uh, keto we did a lot of things and ate a lot of things we were coming from a vegan diet so we had a lot more vegetables in our life in the beginning we were putting butter on everything in the beginning and we were losing weight and then we sh we adjusted and shifted because our tastes changed, 
because our weight stalls happened and we did different protocols to shake all those things up. So we have done all kinds of things and we need to find the same thing with carnivore. We need to shake it up and see what works best for our body. Plus, the good news is, for us, it's not gonna hurt us to have some of the seasonings and some of the things. We've done so many tests throughout the years on products that we know uh, don't bother us and what have, and we know our sensitivity tests, um, what we can and can't have, and we've adjusted accordingly and brought back some of the things slowly. So you need to do what works for it, best for you. There's no keto, no ketovore, no carnivore, no police. So with that, you guys, I'm gonna get my steak in my air fryer and cook them to medium rare. And we'll share when we get our steaks out. Okay, you guys, I put a napkin in a plate, um, zeroed it out, and I'm just gonna kind of weigh these. This one looks like the biggest one to me, but looks can be deceiving. Put a napkin down because I wanna get that little bit of water, moisture. So this is one and a half pounds, 1.5. So that's the big one. That's the big guy. This one's gonna be Harry's. These are thick. They are very thick. They're one inchers. So that one was what? 1.5. 1.58. That one is actually more than this one, even though this one looks bigger. So I'm going to move this one down towards the handle because it's going to be mine. This one that weighs more, that doesn't look as thick, as big, is going to be Harry's. So if you can look at this a minute. And I'm gonna put these other two steaks in the fridge because I wanna cook them. If I want them, I want them to be fresh. So come look at this. So one of the things I'm going to do is weigh them when they're finished to see what the difference is. Now, the problem is I don't know if Carb Manager gives you raw meat weight or if it's cooked meat weight. I think my friend Karen told me that um, the restaurants and such, the meat is raw. So let me know what you think. Hold please. I need to add some smoked salt. I am still using smoked salt. Something I noticed, I'm telling you guys to go get the smoked salt in my smoked salt containers. This one is cherry. This one's hickory right? I pulled out my cherry and hickory. My hickory, I need to replenish this weekend. Oh, yes, I do. We will not be here. I can do it on the phone. That's the great thing about the phone. I know we won't be here and I'll have it go to our P.O. box, but I got to have it. wait till we get back. But then it won't be on sale. Oh. They usually have some kind of sale on Memorial Day. I can, I can rob from Arvita. Thank goodness Arvita has all of these flavors in there, but she doesn't have big packages. Just bring everything you got. I'm trying to get this out. Anyway, you guys, come back in just a minute while I get this all filled. I noticed I poured the hickory in the cherry, so I took all of that and poured it in my hickory because my hickory was totally out. So I fixed it. Glad I caught it. Anyway, I've got my hickory. I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna put some smoked salt on these steaks. I like putting a little bit of the smoked salt on top and then I use um, the Redmond's Real Salt to give me more saltiness because I like my steaks salty. Yeah, yes, I too. do. So I'm going to put this in, set the timer on 20 minutes on a cold oven at 400 degrees. That's how I like to cook mine. It comes out really, really great. I'll be checking it throughout. I'm going to stick these other two in a Ziploc plastic baggie and put them in my refrigerator for either later today or tomorrow. But the good news is I know I'm going to have a really nice fatty Beautiful. These are the fattiest New York steaks I've seen in a long time. So anyway, you guys come back when it's steak time. Our steaks are out. They've been resting. I just 
zeroed out with one of my plates. Now, yes, the plates can weigh like a tenth of an ounce different, but this just gives us a ballpark. This one was my steak. So it lost four ounces. Mm -hmm. uh, four ounces, 0.3, 4.3 ounces in the cooking. This one is Harry's. Yours lost two ounces. That's weird. No, this one was more. Mm -hmm. So it was more than yours. Yes. So by six by six tenths, I think. Okay. So anyway, that is what they weigh. So they're uh, each. Let me see what this one was. 1.1, 1.3. So, interesting. Anyway, you guys, this, let me, let me put these where I can turn them. There you go, there you have it. We're gonna do three days of steak. Yes, indeed, steak, salt, and sparkling water, and coffee, of course, for breakfast. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. You guys, I have to try this fat. I love the fat. This crispy deliciousness. Sally's guarding the house. Mm -hmm. That's a walk by bark. Mm -hmm. mm. Sally's a hearing dog. She has a bark for absolutely everything. When the microwave timer goes off, she comes and runs and tells her papa. If the timer, the little machine timer goes off for the, um, air fryer for the for the for the ring she lets you know if the ring's going off all those things she's awesome the only one that she goes nuts over is somebody's at the door she mm -hmm. attacks the door though but I you know can't break somebody's her actually standing there yeah anyway you guys so absolutely delicious i'll cut it in the middle although i normally don't like to do that just to share what it looks like Somebody's outside the house someplace, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, Sally. You're a good girl. You'd be Papa's ears. Look at that, you guys. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, Somebody's at the door. She wasn't kidding. Mm-mm. There's the ring to prove it. It was the male so, girl. It was the male girl. Okay, Sal, we got it. Doesn't that look delicious? Gotta eat now. I get some steak after that. Yes, you can have some steak, but we've got to eat. So, good girl, good girl. Now she goes back up to her little seat and watches. Yeah, she's sure. looking out the window. Oh, she's out the window. She tells us when the puppies are going by. She has certain puppies. She knows it all. She's very, very smart. Anyway, you guys, Harry, what do you think of yours? Oh yeah, man, this looks really good. Dad, yeah, I guess you are, aren't you? Mmm. That's really got good mm -hmm. flavor. And it's tender. Wow. Yeah, really good. I believe it turned out really good. Just cooked in the air fryer with mm -hmm. a little bit of smoked salt on it mm -hmm. and a little bit of Redmond regular salt on it on top, so. One to ten on the best restaurants we've eaten at with steak and mine in an air fryer. What is it? Oh, this is much better than going to any restaurant. I think so too. Oh my gosh. We've yes. spent several hundred dollars at a, at a steakhouse to get a piece of steak that doesn't taste yeah. any better. Yeah. Really like, doesn't this, this with those perfect. smoked Redmond Real Salt. This is perfect right here. Look at that. For you? Yep. Mm. Uh -huh. Hit a meat wall. Now Harry left two little pieces of fat that he didn't like that had a gristly fat. I liked it, so I ate it. But I've got my steak that I did not eat right here. And I'm gonna weigh it, give or take a couple bites of Harry's. That's eight ounces. So I'm gonna deduct that and say, you know, how much did I have? You know, uh, I had 
a little bit less than eight ounces that I ate, or around eight ounces, because it, remember it was, it was point something, and I had a bite of hit. But the good news is it was fantastic. It was delicious. It was filling. Come here. You're being a silly willy, because you know why, you guys? We promised her steak, didn't we? Yes, you did. Well, I've got some, see? Yeah, I know. I'm looking at it over there. Can you smell it? Yeah, I can smell it. It spills all out. Well, how about this? How about if we go ahead and close out right now and say goodnight to everybody, and then I wash off the salt off of your steak and get you some? Okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. You've got to wait. It's my turn, too. You're going to help me? Okay, everybody. Like. like. Subscribe. Ring, Ring the bell. bell. Give, Give us me a thumbs, thumbs up. up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Okay, Sally. Woo! Yes, I know. I got to get a knife and cut your some pieces. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. I know you are. Oh, come on. Mike, 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 Mike. Come on over here. You have to say goodnight formally. Sit down. Goodnight formally. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, one more. Oh, come on. Okay, well, let me get your little dish and let me fix it. Oh, my gosh. One puppy minded. You're one track. I want some more. I know you do. I'm getting some. I'm getting some. I got to I gotta cut the top off and give you the middle. Come on, Mama. Puppy's waiting down here. I know. The puppy is very patient, too. Here, let me give you a couple pieces on the plate. Oh. Okay. There's some. I'll give you a couple more. There's some more. That's it? No, that's not it. I'm doing it, but just, just wait a minute. Come on, Mama. That's steak. I know. That's the good stuff. Yeah, let's have it. Oh, no. oh careful, careful. I gotta watch myself. Now, be careful. Now, calm down. Calm down. Okay. 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 There. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. You know, you've got a beauty parlor appointment tomorrow. Don't want to hear about it. And then I've got a beauty parlor to get a pedicure. Uh -huh. Then the next day I get a head, I get my hair done. But we have to ask them about ticks and fleas that we don't have here in Arizona. I know there's all kinds of cootie bugs, but huh, we're almost ready to go, folks. See you guys tomorrow. We'll let you know if we have anything. I've got my steak left that I can eat tonight. So we'll see, and we'll let you know tomorrow. One more piece, Mom! Okay, one more, one more.